Hi, I'm Alex. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back. Um, I am a 24-year-old data analyst in the greater New York City area who is obsessed with Disney and reading. So I haven't made a book video in a really long time and I figured today would be a great day to do that. Um, I've been seeing a ton of book YouTubers talk about their physical TBR lately, which is a trend that I think instead we should call exposing my shopping addiction, but it's my own um, personal opinion. I've seen a lot of people say that there is a difference between um, the hobbies of buying books and reading books, that they're two different things, and I totally agree. Um, I think that going and walking through a bookstore and reading covers and finding new books is one thing and then sitting down to actually read them is a whole nother story. It's kind of like watching a six second TikTok about a movie instead of just watching the movie. They're two different things, you know? So we are going to go through my very large physical TBR today. Um, I know there's at least, I think there's almost 30 books on it. I'm not really sure, but I think that that is what we're at. So I'm going to start with what I'm currently reading, which is Hating You, Dating You, Dating You, Hating You, sorry, by Christina Lauren. Um, I've been on a Christina Lauren kick this month, and I've already read three of her books this month, so I figured I might as well throw in a fourth. So this is what I'm currently reading. Um, I've been super into like rom-coms lately, so that's why some of these books haven't been touched. You'll notice there's a lot of thrillers, a couple of historical fiction, and it's just because I've been in this like rom-com kick. So um, another book that I had to DNF a long time ago and keep telling myself I'm going to pick back up again um, is Razor Girl by Carl Heisen. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. This is the same author who wrote the book Flush, um, which I think is funny that it's somebody that I was reading in like second or third grade and I'm struggling so much to get through this because it really just like doesn't make sense and doesn't follow one storyline and is very confusing. Um, and then we have a couple of holiday books which I bought in December and then didn't read and then just didn't feel right reading them because it wasn't the holidays. So the first is The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, um, which sounded really cute when I was reading about it in the store, but um, probably going to save this for December because that's what makes sense to me. And then I also have The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless, um, which again I bought to read during the holidays and never read. So those are the next two. And then I have, I didn't put these in any particular order other than making sure Dating You, Hating You was on top. So sorry if it's a little scrambled, but the next is Swans of Fifth Avenue by Melanie Benjamin. This is something that I saw at like a used book sale. So I just grabbed it because it was in perfect condition. I honestly still have not read the back. I have no idea what it's about. Um, but I'm sure that when I do get around to reading this, that it'll be good. And then the next one, pulling from my red book pile, is The Inferno by Dante. I've had this sitting on my shelf since probably 2018. Um, still haven't read it. It's on my list of goals for the year to read it this year, so hopefully I actually read it this year. Um, I want to read The Inferno and then the whole trilogy. Um, especially the Divine Comedy. So that is where I'm going. And the next book, um, similar to The Swans of Fifth Avenue, I'll Eat When I'm Dead by Barbara Borland. Um, this is a book that I picked up from just a used book sale that was in pretty good condition. So I grabbed it to add to my library. Don't know what it's about. Um, I look forward to reading it and finding out. The next book that I have is Six Wicked Reasons by Joe Spain. I had to go on a full hunt to find this. I felt like I really wanted to read it and then I was really excited and bought it and then never touched it. Um, so I've had this for a little over a year. Um, this is another book I'm excited to read but it is a thriller and I just haven't been in that vibe. Next and we're starting to go through my blue shelf. so. Um, this is just a portion of my blue books that I 
have and these are the ones that I haven't read. So next one is Frat Girl by Kylie Roach. Um, this is about a college girl who wants to write a paper about trying to um, make frat boys less obnoxious basically. But I would love to read this, I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, and then No One Ever Asked by Katie Gancher. I had purchased this book for a book club in my area and then never went so I never read the book. Um, so that's that. The next one is The Rumor by Ellen Hildenbrand. I've heard from a lot of Hildenbrand, sorry. I've heard from a lot of people that she is like their comfort author and I have another one of her books on this list as well. Um, but I haven't read anything by her yet so if you have an Ellen Hildenbrand book that you particularly recommend please leave it down below. Same with Christina Lauren because I just love her. Well I know it's two authors with one pen name but I, I love the books produced by Christina Lauren. The next one I have is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This is like a everybody loves this book I'm sure if you're watching this maybe you've already read it um, but I have not. So that is on my list. Another book that I feel like literally everyone has read except me at this point is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, I bought this because it was on sale at Target and people said they loved it but I also heard people cried a lot um, and I've been in more of like a comedy reading phase of my life than drama except for Colleen Hoover who makes me cry with every book and for some reason I still keep going back. Um, the next one is The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer Smith, and I have to be honest, I thought this book was a hardcover, which is part of the reason I haven't read it yet, and I am finding out right now that it's paperback. Um, so this is a book that one of my friends gave me to read, and I think it's based in Edinburgh, which is part of the reason why I wanted to read it. That's where I studied abroad, so I love reading books placed there. Um, the next one is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, which... Is supposed to be a great book and I've been told a lot that it's really cute and really fast and I need to just read it but haven't gotten there yet mostly because it's a hardcover book. We are down to only one pile now which is very exciting. Uh, so the first book in this pile is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Um, like I said I've been in more of a comedy phase but next time I'm ready for a deep romance this one is it. Oh, I guess also in my desk at my office right now, I also have um, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read like the first 15 pages and I'm struggling to get into it, but it is starting to get a little better. I just keep it there um, for my lunch breaks at work and in case I forget to bring whatever I'm currently reading at the time. Um, so I just like pick it up and read a few pages every now and then when I have a chance. And the next one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. You can also see I have a bookmark in this. I read the first five pages and then decided I wanted to read a romance novel. Uh, it's by Holly Jackson. I know everybody loves this whole series. Um, so I am excited to read that. And then I have 14 Ways to Die by Vincent Ralph. This was one of those like $5 books um, at the like Starbucks checkout inside of Barnes & Noble if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I have The Silent Patient by Alex Nicolides. My sister, my younger sister, actually gifted this book to my mom for her birthday. And my mom thought I would like it, so she passed it to me. Um, I haven't gotten there yet. I know that Alex Nicolides is supposed to be an incredible author, and I would like to read a lot of those books by him. Um, but this is the one that I have on my shelf currently. And the next book I have is The German Girl by Armando Lucas Correa. Um, this is a historical fiction book about World War II and those are my favorite historical fiction books to read. I'm honestly shocked that I've owned this for over a year and haven't opened it yet but it just shows how much I've been like really into romance. I know I've said that a lot but I think it's because I have sort of made up my mind about what kind of book I want to write and I've always had the dream of publishing a book. If you're new here that's like one of my biggest goals in life. I do work in data but I love fiction as much as I love fact. Um, so I think I've been reading a lot of romance as more of a like research strategy and deciding how I would like to write my own book but as soon as that process has started I'm definitely going to get back to 
more fun, not more fun genres because obviously romance is great, but just other genres than romance. The next book I have is Anxious People by Frederick Backman, and honestly I probably would have read this a long time ago except I bought it for my boyfriend in an airport. As you can see he has a bookmark in this um, I think over a year ago and he has not picked it up since and I would really like to read this book but I am waiting until he maybe eventually finishes it um, so I haven't done anything more with that yet. The next one I have is Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Satanto. Um, I heard Haley Pham talk about this book and say it's just really fun and lighthearted. Um, so I'm saving that for a day that I feel rather down and just want to read. The next book I have is The Spanish Love Decep Deception. And I have to say, when I bought this book, I was so excited. And then I saw so many bad reviews in a row. Um, so that is what has kept me from opening this is the fear that I'm not going to like it and it is a pretty like thick book to commit to. It's like 435 pages so it's definitely a lot to commit to for a book that so many people hate uh, but I know a lot of people love it too so I don't know. The next one is The Girls in High Heeled Shoes by Michael Kirkland. This is the same as the other books that I bought just from like a used book sale. It was in perfect condition so I wanted to add it to my library um, but I know that it is a thriller um, so I'm excited to read this eventually. And the next one is A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. I also got this from that used book sale and it is not in perfect condition. It's pretty beat up actually um, but it is the copy with Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively on the front, which I particularly enjoy. They are two of my favorite actresses, and I do really want to see the movie, but I'm waiting to read the book before I watch the movie, so this is on my physical TBR. I should read it soon so I can watch a movie with two of my favorite actresses. The next one, and I think this is kind of silly that I haven't read it yet, is Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr. Um, same thing with the second of her poetry books, um, but I think this is something that I want to like wake up and read a poem of a poem a day and I just haven't been able to commit to that yet. So that is still sitting unopened on my shelf. Um, along with this copy of Jane Eyre that I was so excited to get because it is so beautiful. I love the detailing on it. I love the colors. I think it's gorgeous. My Charlotte Bronte. Um, and I do want to read three classic novels this year. This and the Inferno, and then I have one, the next one, Anna Karenina by Leo, Tol Leo Tolstoy. These are my three classics that I would like to read this year, um, so I still haven't started any of them, and it's currently July 27th, so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Um, next, I have There's Someone Inside Your House um, by... Stephanie Perkins. This was something that was on sale at Target for like five dollars so I grabbed it. Um, also have no idea what this is about but it has some interesting people um, reviewing it on the back and I know it's a thriller so again when I'm in that vibe I'll be ready for it. The next one is The Outsider by Stephen King. I would say that this is a pretty classic book um, that a lot of people have read, know, and love. Um, but I have never read it and I actually don't think I've ever read a King book, um, a Stephen King book in general. I think I was always a little too scared so this is going to be my first Stephen King book. We'll see if it transforms me into a um, murder, not murder, a horror book gal but I'm not sure. And then the last one I have is Golden Girl by Elden, Ellen Hildebrand. I don't know why I can't say that name. Um, another book that I probably would have picked up if it weren't hardcover. I don't know why I'm like this, but it just bothers me so much to read hardcover books. Next book is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, this is my best friend's favorite book. He tells me once a week, basically, that I need to read it. Still haven't. Uh, Cooper, I'm sorry, but this is still on my physical TBR. Hi, it's been a few days, but I am editing and realized that I was cleaning my car this weekend and found one more book on my physical TBR. Um, this is something that is like my 
Does anybody else have a car book just in case you like feel like reading while you're sitting in your car? Anyways, this is mine. It's Talk Bookish to Me by Kate Bromley. It's a book about a bookstagrammer. Um, so somebody who is like influential in this world. So I'm excited to read it, but that that is the last book on my physical TBR. So those are my books that are on my physical TBR. Um, if you've read any of them, I would love if you could comment and let me know what you thought or which I should read next. If there's one that you're really passionate about hating, I would love if you let me know that as well. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.